Like, I think Liquid has like a pretty good shot, but I, I think Aster is OP here. I'm telling wow. Aster. Okay, split panel then. Let's, uh, Action Slacks is looking like a mob boss today. Very, very. To the 10 of Sniper with a good head start here on Monet. Getting yeah, in behind that pressure. The rebound. Dispose is available this time. Shrapnel comes out to do some residual damage. Monet taking the brunt of it though. Do they have enough to get first blood in this game? Boxy continuing on. And there it is. Boxy with the first blood. Uh, Monet, where can he go as a sniper? See another oh. rebound this time on the Siamese Cat for the Crystal Maiden. Looks like that's gonna be another death in this lane for Aster. Here Bobok obviously charging from base. Oh, Boxy. Trying to turn this around onto Monet as Ty is gonna be able to get the insatiable hunger off as well. And Monet's in a lot of trouble with the Frostbite, dealing a lot of damage to Zion in the meantime. As Boxy looking for another kill for himself to Monet, that is the- 1-0 and 2 in terms of KDA, so. Oh, the charge coming from good. the other side from Boboka, but Boxy is ready for this, but the Split Earth is there with the Pulse Nova. Mickey taking tons of damage, does get up a good LSA, but it does not save him in the end, as Boxy getting run down now by Ori's Pulse Nova, double kill for him. And Zai? He wants to go on Monet, but he's gonna get Frostbit and Charge. Already at half HP, and Monet can just right click from afar as the charge connects, and one more right click should do it, although Siamese can't take that route at all if you focus on maxing out that shot. Alright, oh, Boxy with the job! Initiation, and that is enough of burst damage, but Boca. Oh. Yeah, that he's in the it's area waste here. Of Pop, so Crystal Nova just off. Actually, did connect, and now they have the vision. There's the charge from Bafuka. In comes XSS as well, and that is a big kill. On Situations can suddenly look quite promising. Bafuka with a charge, no rune here. Boxy is here. Nice pin of malice, though, but this one keeps XSS at bay. Already at half HP, and in comes the Lich as well. But look, four members of Aster are continuing on here as Insania gets off his chain frost. Looks like he will drop in the end as Batu has finally come to play with the Laguna Blade on top of the rupture is enough to find himself a kill. Now the focus is on to Baboka, but the sniper gonna get the front of the damage as Boxy gets the stun off and Baboka will be next. We'll get charged. Charged in the top lane next to the tier two, but the frost shield comes out again. Chain frost not really bouncing, but finally does off of the creeps, and that is gonna cause Ori to drop. Baboka gets disposed. TP cancelled, second kill for Liquid. Is yep. very ready to fight, but actually hitting a strong timing here. And this smoke could bear the through. The horse is there, he gets stunned and brought down. A huge kill for Liquid, but XXS has come to play with his ult. Gets off the nice pit of and Firestorm and Sania. Look to be the sacrifice of the very least, but Mickey and Monty want to continue to fight potentially. They're going to try to focus onto the Crystal Maiden, and a nice stun from Boxy on the two heroes with Mickey's LSA to follow. Four dead for Aster. And they got to see Tundra beat Aster as well. Potentially that's what we're seeing here right now. But standing onto the high ground, he is so tanky at half HP, but he'll be the sacrifice. And it looks like it's gonna be a trade for the position fives. The kill coming out, but the only delay is the inevitable. Oh, they ruptured Lash. Yeah, he gets his bloodstone off just in time as Batu pops a BKB, but the Lash is dead. Laguna blade into the grave. And Baboka getting chased, but a nice pit of malice keeping Boxy and company in this area, but the Dispose comes out on Bavoka, but he does have the status resistance. And gets the charge off, that right click is coming for him. Is that enough? It doesn't look like it. He shall live. So his damage will ramp up significantly when he levels up to 13, 14. Oh, Matu getting charged, and there's a Queen's Gate here as well. He pops the BKB, but still gets stunned. That is four members of Aster, and that is a nice pickup for them. Very nice team play, and now, I mean, the Fiend's Gate is so cool, but Nick A. In the area, he's in this right now. Oh, oh the SA does not connect, but they still get the stun. Laguna Blade to follow up with the Bloodstone. Totally up a decent amount of the BKB pop out. Okay, and that is enough to take out Ori again. He's maybe leaving. they are gonna try, actually. Right. XXS. It's a pit oh, they know there's a BKB, oh, so yeah. maybe. He gets the charge up successfully inside the Pit of Malice. Mickey trying to help him out, but looks like the J Frost finally comes out. It's only gonna connect a couple times, but Mickey looks to be mega dead, and Zion Company have to get the hell out of here. Zany is successful, but Zai inside the Pit of Malice, charged up. 
And it looks like he's going to be brought down as well. So Aster successfully defended Tier 2. Reposition to keep him alive. And that's huge for Aster. And we have a rupture onto XXX, but the rest of his team is coming. A nice charge onto 2, but the Blood Rock does connect. Silence that space count. Oh but Foxy God. just getting right click from afar. And Matu, despite having to be KB, yeah, does have the move speed to fine. get away. And uh, but if Liquid find a move off it, the story will be very, very different. Ori is going to walk straight into Matu. Oh, Laguna Blade, but no LSA Ooh. connection. But they still have the Crystal Maiden nonetheless. The right clicks are too much. BKB already popped by Matu as they find the kill onto Ori. Three dead overall. The complete segregation of that fight, but Liquid. Control. Woke up, but they see Boxy. They're going to start charging him. And next to Liquid's outpost, technically in control of Aster right now. The charge is there, but the Fox is going to keep him healthy for being free, though. Baboka end up taking him out with the help of Monet. Just like that, it's a 5v4, but BKB already popped by XXS as they find Zai in the trees, but the charge onto Matu. See they try to focus here. Firestorm doing a lot of percentage-based damage. Lich ult coming out, but it's only gonna bounce once as Zai just gets cleaned up. Double kill for Monet as the Fiend Gates back to the mountain. Rejoin this fight as Insania okay. looks to be next. Three dead for Liquid. 58% for Aster. Would you feel that? I watched it. Oh. On to Ori. He gets disposed. Ori at half HP. He's going to get faster on the Matu. Trying to right click the blade. Blood Soul's not going to be enough. A one for one, but it's a support for a mid. And Liquid trying to reset. Now the Boxy is on relatively low HP. Disposed on the Matu with the rebound movement speed buff as well. They're able to reset completely. They're can okay. he travel on? They have the outpost too. Yeah. So the connection point is there. Ooh, Monet double this. Well, oh, McKay oh, inside hard to hit him. Malice gets four staff to safety. They're gonna find the space cow first. We'll do the blade onto XXS. A nice chain frost bouncing as XXS still has the BKB activated. Siamese Cat looks to be next on the list, but double buybacks now from Aster, and they can reconnect relatively quickly. Especially wants to put a Fiend's Gate there. Still 5v5, that is several buybacks from Aster, but like you said, the BKB is very important for Liquid to charge. Oh, okay. On the mid game, but the Frost Shield is going to be able to get a lot of this physical damage. Fox is going to be dead, trying to help his teammate, and then pop the BKB. Going to get the die back onto Ori, with half HP, but the Bloodstone Helium to a hide if it's stuck. It's going to be a net. Ori, die back at Monet. Stuck in. He's stuck there, trying to right click his way out of this. Getting some life steal now, but Zai is going to be able to take him out in the end. It's going to be close. Monet is still life stealing. Despite just standing still for the last 30 seconds, Matu has already died, and now Bamoka trying to chase the lit. But there's the rebound. Mickey gets instantly stunned. Disposed back. They kill Monet. Finally, he buys back into the game, though. And now the Unleashed going to town on XXX. He's bought back himself as well. Looks like Broodmother is next here, though. And now this has turned into a three versus two, technically in favor of Aster. But Bamoka dies. That's another dieback for him. Boxy TPing away. He is successful. So much. They want to go. They have the rebound available. Roche is relatively low. The Frost Shield oh, is there, but a nice pit of Malice. Going to root that. But Boxy gets into the pit. He gets to this Spoza. Who gets the Roche is the question. Nobody wants to kill it. And finally, Monet. He snatches the Aegis. So technically, Liquid gets the kill. Not sure who got the shard. Just now, Aster will place XXS to cover the high ground. Uh, Boxy they gets shot in. Him. He, they know they get the bash up, but Monet is right looking from afar. Mickey about to be KB. Gets a Laguna Blade. And now they jump on top of Monet and kill him immediately. No buyback for him. And Baboka now stuck between a rock and a hard place. That's a second. Make it three for Mickey. What a fight. What an initiation with no vision, I'm pretty sure the Underlord at the moment. I and mean, you just love the confidence from Boxy, right? The smoke breaks, he instantly just blinks up blindly and pops his ult in BKB. Finds a target, the fight breaks out, and Monet tries to come in and help, but they just destroyed him with Marcelina. He didn't even get to play the fight. Probably felt relatively confident with his butterfly that he had something to stand his ground with, but just not the case. Liquid, are they actually just gonna go for it? They're gonna try to go for They know that Sniper's not back for 60 seconds. Tier 4 is already at half HP. They're gonna be able to take it out pretty swiftly. Can't and Aster actually defend this in a 3v5 situation. Finally, the fortification is popped. They won't have one for the rest of the game in all likelihood if they continue down this mid lane. Unleash is popped for Boxy, just priming and ready to go. One tier four down. Will Liquid continue on here? 33 seconds on Monet. Crimson Guard trying to make a little bit of damage here. But there's the initiation on XS. They get the, the Prompter on and they force staff him as well, but he's going to live inside the fountain. But the tier four goes down as well. And now on to the Ancient Ori. Pops the BKB. For Liquid, all they have to do is right click that they'll get game one. Charge oh, it to the pretty big, but make it continue to right click with the data. That's gonna be enough. Liquid has taken game one. Unbelievable. I don't know how this team continues to give everybody heart attacks around the world, but I'm close to.
of that right now, Cinderin. <laughs> Good. Sniper Omni. Do they have the tools necessary well, to land? Sniper Omni should do very well in this game. Unless they get out. Um, and if he can, and lands a hook, it, he probably just gets it. Oh boy. Insane. Yeah, yeah. yeah, dispose and first blood this time goes to Aster. Got it. Oh. There's that trade-off. Ori is going Ori for it. Rod, we got a TP coming in, but Boxy is a little too late. Gets the ice shards off. He's level Water one, though. Water is by Ori. And looks like he's fine. Wants a high five. You're gonna hit level three now as well. Ori will. Uh, the water Zai, they're gonna go on top of the Monet here. Looks like they'll find the kill first before Zai ends up being the trade. Bye. So he has 10 wand charges right now. It is power rune time though. Yeah. Get six. Yeah, and he's gonna go for it right away. Immediately. Here comes the snowball to try to cancel, but the damage is already done. And Mike, another TP to come out from Insania. Mike dies first though. Oh, that was like, I thought it was slow motion. <laughs> Oh, big zip in Boboka. with the connection from Boxy. They're focusing on Boboka. They get him. They get a little bit low on mana as Ori is now TP'd in for a connection of their own. Well, we got Ori. He's going to get the dismember off. But that's against another punch named Matu. Trying to get off a little bit of damage here, but it's going to get ice path inside the macro fire. Hook back into the fray, and down goes Matu. Zip back in, but... Now the Heavenly Grace comes out as Mickey has to walk away in shame. But Aster here in numbers. Not sure if they oh, see Insania, yeah. but... Yeah, he's got no resources left. He's, he's a pig. Gonna... Oh, this is one way Maiden can escape yeah. for a few seconds, but now she's... Oh! Crystal Maiden jukes in slow motion, but XXS is here. And again, the longest chase of Insania's life, but he... Create a little bit of space. I mean, you're thinking, looking for the reasoning. Like, is, 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 is it this member? Is it this oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, but There's three members of Aster. He doesn't seem to give a crap about it. There goes the Guardian Angel, and Mickey is just going to get punished right off the bat. And Aster, super happy with this exchange. Going up top here, Fleshy is going to try for an Ice Shard blocking him in. Nobody nearby, but he's going to get a dismember. Instantly canceled thanks to the split earth from Zai, but this rod decimating them as Zai forced the TP out, but the hook's back. Split Earth is coming, he's faking it out. Doesn't do enough damage though, as I can just be walked down on. Ori with another stack of flesh sheep. That's the hero. The high ground, the hook connects. But the Insania trying to get away, but some good moves. Not gonna be enough though. Split Earth onto the sniper is the rest of Liquid trying to get away in this bot lane. Grapnel will crawls. I continue to get headshot. Do they have the stun? They do. Ori with a double kill across the map. Now top lane. Looks like Liquid want to try to get something out of this. In case out of mana. He is. I don't think he get this kill. Has to TP out. We'll live, but no kill for Liquid at all. And Storm just doesn't have enough in the tank. So solo even the Jakiro. That's that. That's who they want. Boxy has the blink dagger. Walrus punch as well. But I think gets on his BKB and unleash. And now he wants to fight because Ori come to play. Matu, nice save on the boxy. It's gonna cost them the crystal mate. Too terrible. Matu showing up with the axe there. Definitely helping out against the pudge. They've been trying to take out the Omni Knight. The hook from Matu. That is enough for a kill. The instant initiation from Ormi. They delete Boxy from the map. So it's a one for one in this little mini engagement. The XXS, he's gonna get split earth with Matu just right clicking him. Looks like that's gonna be enough for the adaptive strike as well. Asked hit by Mata, actually forced out of here. Oh, oh nice. Aster. Oh, boxy there. Ori, he wants to go in deep. Instant initiation, counter initiation from Liquid. The ball connects to zip in by Mickey. Pops the BKB as well. But he gets dismembered. He's going to die inside the BKB. No! Zips away with the sliver of HP. Now can go heal up in the fountain. Now that the BKBs are down on Aster, the hook comes out from Ori. Zai gets off the blood zone, but it matters not. The rod is too powerful. Now this Rax is under peril. They're still pretty sustainable, Aster, with the Omni Knight. A lot of the time, Storm in situations like this can start finding kills when heroes stick around for too long, but Aster are not phased, they're not worried. They have enough in the tank to keep the heroes safe. You can even see the salve here from XXS gonna be up to full health again. And it's like nothing happened for Aster. The only thing that's really on cooldown here that matters is the Marcy BKB. Oh, the blank hook, dismember, death for Insania. Aegis is down, but this is going to be a full set of racks now. Ori has a BKB. Aster are going to constantly pressure this tower with liquid fire. 
with shrapnel plus attacks from Sniper. Yeah, we'll try it on in. They want to get the Omnia immediately. Will they get him against four sets of safety? There's the Guardian Angel just in time. And Mickey has to bump back after dying right off the bat. And Matu is dead as well. A terrible fight for Liquid as the BKBs have come out from Aster. Now they can just focus down Zai. Another death, another kill from Monet. Ultra kill overall. Or he wants another hooking essence. Mickey completely out of mana as Monet trying to finish the job. But able to zip away is Mickey again, but Boxy slow to a crawl and a rampage. Monet just sitting in the back while his fat friend does all the work, and he gets five to his name. Just an insane strategy from Aster, but I, I really think Liquid's idea of jumping the Omni Knight there feels like the only possible yeah. way that they can win a fight. Radiant's and Aster were just quick enough to react. I think it was a defensive Radiant's dispose from XS that threw on the away. He gets Guardian Angel off, and the moment that happens, the fight is actually lost. I think it doesn't matter what Liquid do after that point. They just need to try and disengage and look for a better opportunity. Nope. Biggest thing defending that from I happening into the high ground anyway on top of the splitter, of course. Lincoln's just popped out. Hook not connecting again from Ori, but there's the punch from Boxy into the hook from Montu. See on Monet, but again, he still has the agent. Zai getting destroyed. My goodness, he melted. Reason he comes out just for a split second, but it matters not. A second death for Liquid. Hook on into Monet, but he gets a concussive grenade off again. And Liquid crumbling here in game number two. Aster coming back with the vengeance, looking to get the mega creeps. Fireback comes out on Matu. One last potential stand here from Liquid. Okay. Not able to do too much. A nice ice pass comes out into the dual breath. Oh, it's nice to punch finally. But how much is it going to cost them? Boxy ticking away ever so slowly. Matu the last right. remaining member of Liquid after the buyback now. Turns into punch. Or he's still punch, in fact. Has the rod. Just getting kited. Finally gets to spoke back into the ice pack. And there's, he's actually staying alive thanks to the strength morph. Has to reset back into the fountain. Boxy has to be careful. This will be a dieback for him. He's going to take away. Matcha has 6,000 health because he also has the strength from Pudge. That is a he very big boy. Him, and the Mega Creeps now come out. Aster, massive advantage here. GG still not called. It's only a matter of time here. The last tier four will fall. Side, trying to get something up. Really want to kill Monet now that the Aegis is gone, but the Ice Path is there. Hurricane Pike on top, and that is going to be the death of Liquid in game number two. Aster, they come back really nicely to push this to three games. Yeah, that's got to be really good for their confidence. You know, in that first game, the first game was really close. There were plenty of opportunities in that game where Aster could have maybe started getting a, a big advantage. They didn't manage to... I mean, Liquid and the sucks, right? It's oh, it's banned, actually. It's Never mind. They can't that's even a random so. Ursa, but it's also not good. Matsu, go go. Maybe it's a Lycan in the end. Well, I guess Lycan like or PL are our best. Top lane. Big damage onto Zai here. He yeah, has the shield crash with that damage mitigation, but it's worn off now. Gets off the swashbuckle with the tag team combo as well, but it's not enough. Aster strikes first, and Monet is going to get help with this. Frostbite from Siamese. But is it going to be enough for a double kill indeed? Yeah, you love that. Up top lane. And the multi shot coming out. Siamese has a lot of trouble, though. He's going to get taken out finally <laughs> from the liquid side. Leak to a chase. Oh, speaking of chase. From Boxy, Monet is going to get the multi shot off. And they're just going to turn this around onto Zai. Nice kill for Aster. Have to TP up. Worth. So his recovery curve is way too hard, right? He has, he has the lowest net worth in the game. Oh, nice LSA. Pulverize came in. Or Ori still has the Pulverize available. Looks like it's going to be a kill. But the Laguna Blade comes out onto Ori. That is enough to turn this around as Liquid TP in in space. Double kill for Matu. LSA connects onto the high ground. Ice shards are there as well. And three kills in the name of Liquid. To work with, but with this night, natural night still happening, he might go for the dive here onto Monet. Going for it. Monet was slowed initially by one zombie. Gets a nice multi shot. Obviously stuck by the ice shards now. Swashbuckle from side to try to get some form of revenge. I don't think there's any reason to buy eggs with the Naga support. Uh, you'd rather get some marketing single target. Ori on a Mickey. No ball comes in from Oxy. From the damage from these illusions. Gets up the Laguna Blade though. Man fight versus Ori that looks like he's resigned to his death here. LSA not able to connect as Mickey drops to XXS in the end. Zai's rolling thunder. A ton here. He's able to snag the Invisor at the very least. But got 
Might be a contest. There's a smoke here from Aster. Zai's gonna get off the rolling. Thunder's only gonna get illusion to start. Avoca looking for the song, but he's getting controlled. Will they be able to keep it back in? They do. And Mickey gets the Aegis. The roar applied to Zai, but it's really just a delay tactic, it feels like. Gets it stare on top of it, but Monet Company still want to fight, but he's getting a little bit of blade in. Mickey pops the BKB, focusing on the CM, but now on the other side of the tree line. Taking the right clicks, looks like he's gonna be the first to follow this engagement. But Pango died on the other side, and now they're gonna get the Night Stalker. Matu in a lot of trouble with the LSA. He's connecting, he's gonna get saved as a result. Or he's dead, beautiful stuff for Mickey. Centaur gets the stun on top of him now, and he's left to his own devices, completely surrounded. The Gust is there, multi-shot and the axes. So Aster, they get some kills in Retribution. A lot of damage is available, he's frostbitten. It's going to toggle out of this one with Monet's shot midair and the charge. Yeah. Uh, we're back to live. Fight. Hold the horses here, Cinder. And oh, like, Timey's cast to be the first to fall. And now XXS is the one that's completely surrounded. So, wrong territory for him. Matu gets credit. We have the prediction that this play is coming. Liquid do have Dark Ascension, though. And pop. Dark Ascension, but he's the focus. He can get roared inside his BKB. He really gets a ton of this damage. Now, XXS is the one stuck basically on this cliff area. He's going to get right click down quite easily. Nice kill to start things out for Liquid. Finally, on the other side here, Laguna Blade's going to find Siamese Cat. So, just like that, it's 5v3. Now, Mickey pops his BKB, or he kind of a no man's land. His team still has Song available if they need to pop it. They will. Mickey, his BKB runs out, and the rest of Aster are going to be able to walk away, it looks like. Oh, it's Desai. Tower is going to go down one way or another as the Tombstone is placed. Overice coming in from Ori. Pretty much full duration here on Sania, but he's more than healthy enough to continue to fight us. Now Ori is stuck in no man's land. Laguna's blade. Down he goes as Sai going in with the Rolling Thunder. Now applying all the pressure to XXS. He's going to get disarmed for the time being. This looks like three kills very easily for Liquid. It's available, but still BKBs were up. I think it's okay. He it might still have to use it here. It, and yeah, Aster have an idea that's happening. They're going to smoke up. Is it going to be too late? No, it's at half HP right now. The Rolling Thunder coming in, mostly on Illusions. He's going to get roared right off the bat. They're focusing on the pit now. No song to come as Mickey gets the Aegis. Song a little bit late. Is there a shard on the ground? There is. But Boca steals the shard. Here comes the onslaught. Looks like the focus is on the Tusk to start this out. The Naga's going to be the trade, so it's a one for one. Matu wants to fight, but a big multi shot coming from Onay, but a bigger BKB from Matu. And now they're going to get a triple kill from Mickey. Aster are dropping like flies. Ori has to BKB. Onslaught to safety. Looks like he's fine. Team Liquid. Onto the high ground they go. Siamese Cat is completely isolated now. He gets destroyed inside with a huge rolling thunder onto two, forcing the BKB from Monet. And it looks like Boboka will be the sacrifice. So two quick kills for Liquid. Tombstone has been expended along with the Dark Ascension. Now the high ground they go. Both supports for Aster have buyback. Here comes the pulverized BKB from Ori. Instant roar, but there's the Lotus Orb reapplying it. And now the BKB from Matu able to walk away from the song relatively easily, but actually stuck inside it. Oh, we are reeled in to the high ground. I never thought I'd see it. It proved no, nothing. It didn't even matter since there is Mickey. He's going to right click. And deliver. He's going to go push up mid. On a grass, they're going to find Insania, the instant pulverized guts to follow, but the Rolling Thunder is coming in, and Sania is going to live. Now the roar on top of Zai, they're right clicking him very easily, but XXS is taking damage as well. So it's a one for one in terms of the position threes, but they lose the Primal Beast as well. For four minutes, so Night Soccer is still very powerful despite not having Ascension. Matsu can still do oh, some nice great nice charge. Here comes the initiation. Oh, instant snowball actually ruins it for Ori. But he gets the pulverize off after the BKB. Getting kind of go ahead agree here, but LSA not going to connect as Matu. Continue the pressure as Zai gets off the Rolling Thunder. And Ori left to his own devices. One minute of no primal beast. XXX takes the Laguna Blade and takes another death to his name. <laughs> Five versus three. They're gonna get the melee racks and likely go for Roche after. Although there are no creeps here, so the backdoor protection is enabled. Uh, the wave is coming now, though, so easily gonna get the first lane. The question is, are they gonna stop there? Mickey is insanely farmed. He's so far ahead. 10k over the drow. 460 CS. Yep. They know that the buybacks are long cooldown. That's two sets, and they probably still have time to go get Roche. Virtually, if this happens, three EU teams left at TI 11. And we
we have Mickey. The Lincoln is already brought, but there's the instant roller's punch. Nicely done from Boxy. Huge rolling thunder. Down goes Primal Beast again. Boboka Song gives them a little bit of space, but he's getting controlled now. The rolling thunder continuing to proc, and he's dead as well. And now the focus is on to the Drow Ranger. No match this time around. The Moxie finds what he needs. Buy back now to the Drow. Gobo coming in, Walrus punch to follow. How much do they want to dive here? Freezing Field gets canceled. CM has to buy back into the game. Ice Shards, not enough to keep them outside the fountain. So Liquid forcing themselves <laughs> to go for the Mega Creeps. And Liquid looking extremely, extremely good. And we talked about the momentum from the last five days. It has definitely continued here today. And on to the throw, and GG is called. Team Liquid move on. Aster eliminated from TI-11. Yeah, we have no idea what to expect out of this game. Some very different drafts. Provoca on Naga. We have Matu on Night Stalker. But the constant that has been working for...